Go ahead, Chairman wants to see the club developing along the same lines as the Glasgow Giants. This 320-seat rickety wooden stand used to be the only protection Montrose's hardy band of supporters had from the North Sea chill. But following a £1 million investment, followers of the Second Division Angus Club can now watch matches in relative luxury. The development, boosted by a substantial grant from the Football Trust, includes a restaurant, dining room and two gymnasiums. Last night, the 1,300-seat stand was packed to capacity as the mighty Rangers visited Montrose for the official opening. Northeast businessman Brian Keith is the man responsible for the hurricane of change sweeping through Lynx Park. From humble beginnings, he's built up a multi-million pound glazing empire in Aberdeen. Now he's using his business skills to transform the Lynx Park setup. If you bring the business side into it, the, the project that we've completed now is certainly partly football. But there are, uh, we've got a 54-seater restaurant, which is open five days a week for lunches and dinners at night. Um, we've got a weight training uh, area, which is, I've got a weight training club with membership of about 300, and that uh, operates on a daily basis. Now, what business principles are you going to extend to the running of Montrose? We set our targets, we set our targets on sponsorship, on various fundraising and, you know, the money we need to run the club set up all the parameters and work towards our aim. For the record, the Gable Endies defeated the understrength Ibrox outfit by two goals to nil. Montrose may not yet be in the Megabucks League, but their chairman's ambition knows no bounds. Montrose is a population of 10, 12,000 people. Uh, it would be unrealistic for me to say it will be in a Premier League position. What I would like to think is it will become a good middle of the road a first division club similar to, say, let's say, Wraith Rovers. OK, they're in the Premier now, but uh, that type of club, I think, we could become that type of club. Full-time football? Part-time, full-time, yes. Hopefully within the next two to three years. Before Brian Keith took over at the helm three years ago, Montrose depended on league handouts to make ends meet. It's now hoped the sides on the field performances can match the plush surroundings and help kick-start the club into the big time. And the best of luck to him. And that's uh, all from us. For this